Hi, I'm Pastor David Rosales of Calvary Chapel, Chino Valley. Tomorrow is Easter Sunday, and I'm greatly looking forward to the services we have planned to celebrate our risen Savior. Prior to coming to faith in Christ, your life probably looked much different than it does today. For many of us, our lives were once ruled by fear. The fear of the unknown can be a powerful motivator, especially as it pertains to the uncertainty of the future. Perhaps you can remember what it was like to wonder, what is going to happen one day when I finally close my eyes to this world? In Hebrews 2 verses 14 and 15, it says, Since the children have flesh and blood, Jesus too shared in their humanity, so that by his death he might break the power of him who holds the power of death, that is the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by their fear of death. As believers, we have hope because we trust in the fact that Jesus conquered the grave. The key to our hope is always going to be the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. We have the ability in Christ to be prepared for the moment when one day we will see him face to face. We know that one day we who believe in him will be with him for all eternity. With Jesus' resurrection also comes the hope and the promise of his return. It says in Acts chapter 1 verses 9 through 11, After Jesus said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand here looking into the sky? The same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. There's a promise of the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. As he said in John 14, 3, If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. At the conclusion of chapter 15 in 1 Corinthians, Paul said the sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Christ bore death's sting so that we would have life in him. Therefore, death has no power over the person found in Jesus. Thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Because death has been defeated, we can stand firm in our assurance. I pray you have a wonderful Easter and that you would be blessed as you live a hope-filled life.